What is up YouTube? We are back. We are under two weeks out. If you are new to my channel, hello. Thank you for being here. I am a first time bikini competitor and I am two weeks out for my first show ever. Actually, we are 12 days out as of today. It is March 21st. My show's April 2nd, so we are 12 days out. Absolute insanity. Documented the whole prep process from 10 weeks out on my channel. If you're not new here, you know the drill. It's check-in time. It's Monday, it's early. We got the black coffee. Um, last time I checked in was Saturday, so check-in comparisons will be between Saturday and now. So two days. All right, check-ins are sent over, posing video, check-in form, everything. So we can get the day going. I got a package in the mail from Amazon. They're so speedy. This is not what I thought it was. Okay, interesting. So I ordered this from Legion for Pat and it came in an Amazon box. I'm pretty sure, I thought it did. Maybe it wasn't Amazon. Oops, my bad. Whatever, I ordered this creatine for Pat because he wanted creatine and I'm just the best girlfriend ever and I don't take creatine, so. I'm a little scared for this check-in. I always get scared for my check-ins for no reason at all. But I don't know, peak week starts like Wednesday, so I feel like there's gonna be Definitely gonna be some changes of some sorts to my check-in and just really dialing in everything because if she was gonna drop food anymore, it would probably have to be now, I would assume, because peak week starts Wednesday. <gasps> I just saw a peek of what she said. Macros looked a little higher. Oh my God. Okay, check-in results, 12 days out. Let's see. Macros, 130 protein, 160 carb, 25 fat. Yes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself with 60 more grams of carbs, because usually I'm at 100. I've been at 100 grams and I'm at 160 grams. Beautiful, I'm so excited about that. Maybe I can have potatoes and rice again and English muffins. So now my plan is to plan out my day a little bit, um, do fast cardio, eat breakfast, and then get some check-ins done and go to the gym, all that good stuff. I totally read that wrong. Macros, those are my macros, and then back to baseline tomorrow, checking in again on Wednesday. So I've got a higher carb day today, back to regular macros tomorrow, and then Wednesday we'll, we will assess again. So I'll show you guys that check-in too. All right, we are back from fasted cardio, immediately making breakfast. You know the drill. Um, I just got these English muffins out of the freezer because I haven't been able to fit English muffins into my food lately, so I'm super excited about that. Today for this little refeed before we're back to my baseline cows tomorrow. So I'm gonna try air frying this English muffin today to switch it up. We will see how it turns out. Okay, this is how the air fried English muffin came out with a little bit of this, can't believe it's not butter on it. I think this might be superior to the toaster now. Then I just got my typical egg white omelet and turkey bacon. Okay, just finished up with client check-ins. It is 11 a.m. We're doing good so far today. I am gonna make just a small cup of coffee. It's like very small. Um, trying to be more aware of my caffeine intake, but anyway. I do the same thing every time now because I'm not using like creamers anymore. I'm trying to cut those out for my digestion as we get close to 
show, but this is just how I've been making my coffee. I either do hot or ice, and then I just use some unsweetened almond milk, stevia, cinnamon, and I froth that up and throw it with my black coffee. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys what I've been doing with my veggies. I did this last night, so I literally cut up and washed all my veggies, so my asparagus, my zucchini, bell peppers, um, I think that's it. I have um, some of these little green onions in here. So I just got everything prepped so no food is going to waste and it just makes it super easy throughout the week, but I can still make fresh veggies. I can throw these in the air fryer really quick. Just super easy little meal prep hack. Alrighty guys, so just had my oatmeal, I just had a rice cake, we're all carved up for the gym. Going to hit a quick whole day. Not really in the mood for it to be honest. I'm not really in the mood at all to work out these days, but hopefully the carbs will hit me and I'll be feeling solid for this lift. I may or may not record the whole workout, might record a few things from it. I'm not sure because my last vid was a pole day, so we shall see. Okay. Honestly, guys, I wanted to come and chat. I did not record literally any of my back workout. That was one of the worst workouts I've had in a while. Like, my headphones were dead. That's the second time this has happened this past week. I'm just, like, not remembering to charge them. Um, so that sucks. So I listen listen to like the freaking commercials at the gym and I just felt like shit. I've been The carbs from today haven't hit me yet and I've been at a lot of low days. So um, It just felt like the longest workout ever and obviously I didn't have um, My music and my energy was shit and it's very discouraging when your strength is like gone, like everything is hard, every movement is hard, your energy is low, and it makes me like wonder, obviously I'm in a bad headspace right now, but it always makes me wonder why the heck am I doing this to myself, like I wanna fuel my body, but I know these are just the realities of prep sometimes, sometimes it's hard, so I just wanted to be real with you guys, cause I know usually I'm pretty like energetic and excited about everything but that workout honestly was just brutal and like I felt like I was on the verge of tears the whole time the ca like I had only half a scoop of or half a serving of pre-workout and I'm so itchy like didn't feel good from it at all I don't know just felt like crap but we're gonna turn the day around the workout is done gonna go home and eat some lunch and then just get myself set for the rest of the day get some steps in chill all that kind of stuff but I just wanted to be real and honest because I feel like whenever I watch people in prep they don't talk enough about how shitty your workouts are when you're at the end of prep like your workouts are literally ass like I miss being able to train hard I feel like I can't train hard I guess it's true that the worse you feel, the better you look. Because I'm getting really freaking lean and I can feel it. I'm feeling stage lean because I feel like shit. So that's that. This is a brown color. <laughs> it looks like a Chinese brand. Clips. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, it's so long. One of the men. Can you see it? I don't know if it's blended in at all. <laughs> That's only with one of them. <laughs> oh my god. It's so weird. I love it. Huh.
okay and here is a snack before dinner i ate my lunch i showed a clip of that before this um yeah so this is just deli turkey mustard everything but the bagel seasoning and pickles so low cal high protein okay and here we got veggies we got bell pepper zucchini garlic asparagus I have some chicken with low fat sour cream in here and I'm going to throw that in there. It is steaming but this is what it looks like and it's super good and creamy and low fat. Okay, I just ate my last meal of the day, I forgot to record it, but I just had some egg whites, raspberries, and a fiber one thin. Those have been helping me hit my fiber goals and I just am I'm prepping food. I just finished prepping my food for tomorrow since Tuesdays. I am gone out of the house literally all day. So I pack all of my meals. I eat my breakfast and then eat all my meals on the go. So I'll show you what I have packed. So this is back to my low food tomorrow, but like look how much food I got here. And I'm gonna have breakfast on top of this. So we got all the volume. Um, usually I don't have these, but since I won't be having a ton of caffeine tomorrow. I'm gonna have one of these. There's 10 grams of protein in it. Caffeine, Greek yogurt, little protein quest cookie, little taco bowl, same as usual with the lettuce, salsa, ground turkey, and peppers. I have a little sandwich with the fiber one thin, mustard, pickles, turkey. I have a little bit of rice in there, chicken, and some veggies. I got some zucchini, asparagus, and mixed greens, and a couple of rice cakes. So that's gonna be everything that I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I'm gonna have my egg white omelet before I go, and probably a black coffee in the morning, and that's literally it. What is up, guys? Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 23rd, which marks 10 days out from my show literally 10 days out on saturday we'll, we will be one week out so super crazy um i just sent my check-in over to meg i checked in with her on monday um as you've seen in this video but now it's wednesday sent my next check-in over and i'm pretty sure like she said that the peaking process starts today so that's super cool um i think she said that we're gonna be depleting for the next few days until Saturday and then start fueling up, carving up again. So I feel like, I don't know what she means by depleting or how much she means, but I feel like she could lower my food a little bit or keep it where it's at and then it'll probably come back around. But who knows, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, other things I leave for Texas one week from today. I am so, 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 so excited about that. So I need to get some packing done today. I don't have, I don't have a lot of stuff scheduled today, which is good because I need to like get some homework done. Um, I have a massage with my girl at 1 p.m. So I have that today. Need to work out. Yeah gonna be a good day um, I journaled a little bit and planned out my day I don't do this every day but it definitely makes me feel good when I have a lot going on in my brain to just get it down on paper so that's good reading the next read relentless Tim Grover it's one I've been meaning to read for a while now I think it's a good point and prep to be reading it so gonna read that a little more and then fasted cardio and I was just taking my stops out for fasted cardio and I was just thinking it's Wednesday so like peak week officially starts Saturday and things are gonna start like tapering down so I was like I don't even have that many fasted cardio sessions left of prep which is so crazy because I've been doing it for so long now so Really got to make the most out of these last few sessions. Really just soak it in, reflect on everything on prep because it's been a ride. I'm excited to be documenting peak week, even though it's kind of officially starts Saturday, 
but we're kind of tapering into it now. I'm just excited to share the peak week journey with you guys, like how everything is changing because we will be tapering back with everything. We will be doing daily check-ins and um, I guess a lot of peak week is just like relaxing, getting your stress levels down, eating more, posing a lot, all the good things. Um, and then I guess we'll be checking in after like I eat a meal, like pictures and everything, seeing how I look, seeing what time of day brings my best physique based on like the meals and the water and the sodium and potassium and everything. So I'm excited to be sharing that with you all because this is my first peak week. I don't really know what to expect, but here is breakfast. We got egg whites, greens, tomato, baby grape tomatoes, avocado, and turkey bacon. I'm just basking in the sun. It feels so good. Um, I did my cardio, had my breakfast, and I didn't update you guys about my check-in yet. So my check-in 10 days out let me give you the updates okay so i'm gonna finish the last three days of the split i'm on so i will end that on saturday and then my workouts will be changing so i have one more leg day one more push day and one more pull day so that will be the same um cardio this morning was the same plus we're adding in 25 minutes post-workout incline walk so that will be after my workout today i am doing 25 minutes incline walk steps 10k macros today are 135 protein 90 carb and 25 fat pretty much the same as yesterday except minus 10 carbs you need to make sure i get 30 carbs in pre and post workout the rest spread through the rest of the day Water is seven liters. That's like two gallons of water now. So double what I'm drinking, hence the hydro jug right here. She said, today is gonna suck, but we need to get a little flatter before Saturday. Check in again tomorrow. Then on top of that, the 10 days out protocols, which is like the really no artificial, cutting out completely. Artificial sweeteners, syrup, sauces, anything any of those things no gum no carbonated drinks uh, sticking to the same food sources no cruciferous vegetables um not really eating for volume anymore no huge salad type of things so we're really just honing in on all the little things as we get closer so saturday is when peak week officially begins and hopefully i'll be eating more by then I'll be pretty depleted by then. So the next three days, we're gonna be pushing. That was a long check-in, but there's a lot of things going on as we get closer. And I'm gonna be honest, although I am 10 days out today, which is super exciting, I, I've just like not been in a good headspace today. Um, cardio, I was just like really just drudging, like, my energy's low and then when your energy's low and then your food gets lowered and your cardio is increased it's like it's like a mental game um because you're already so low in energy so after cardio i just kind of came back didn't have much energy and that always really bums me out when i don't have a lot of energy i just want to sit on the couch and curl up all day but we got stuff to do so that's the reality is you're not gonna feel good 10 days out you're not gonna feel good 10 days out so um this is just temporary and good things are coming soon i'm gonna keep telling myself that but okay i'm going to my massage soon it's about noon right now i have some more coffee brewing i'm gonna have a greek yogurt in the meantime, to hold me over for lunch, I have my lunch ready in the fridge for when I get back, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. My day is literally just planned around my meals. Like, that's what it, that's what it's come down to at this point, so. And peeing, and bathroom breaks, because of all this water. Seems like I'm always in this spot, but I just got back from my massage. That went super well. We just focused on my upper body, which was so tight, so that feels good. Eating my pre-workout meal now. 
Got it all ready, just microwaved it. We've got ground turkey, extra lean, sweet potato, and asparagus, and then I'm just gonna put some mustard and sea salt. Okay, just getting to the gym. Sorry if the quality is a little subpar than usual. I'm gonna bring my little camera just because it's way easier, less of a liability for me. Um, yeah, and so I can just film my workout quick. Hitting legs with no pre-workout, pray for me. Um, I went to the supplement store to look for caffeine pills and they didn't have any, so whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna end this workout with 25 minutes of incline and treadmill. Cribs and secrets and forbidden bliss can stay still, don't stop the thrill. My bones crave your skin, temptation within, mistakes ignite the silence. Nightmares creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet. What's up guys? I'm back. It's Thursday. I really left you guys hanging after the gym yesterday and probably, probably for obvious reasons. Um, I literally, it's so hard for me to vlog and show up as myself and just show up at all on like filming when I have no energy. Like the th like when you have such low energy and you're like just like getting home from the gym, trying to make a meal, the thought of like having to take the extra step and like pull out my camera makes me like wanna die. So I'm happy to be back this morning. I hope you guys understand that these, as we're entering peak week, these videos might be a little spottier. Um, I'm not as on my shit as usual. Um, my energy levels have been fluctuating like crazy. Like, I don't even know if I would say that. They've just been like shit for the most part. But you're not supposed to feel good 10 days out or nine days out now, so. That's expected, but anyway, on a lighter note, we are checking in again and I can't really have any like flavored coffee or anything or pre-workout. So I got this at the store last night. It's energy tea. And I'm really excited about it. It's passion fruit citrus. So there's no fake sugars in here. It's just literally just like passion fruit, hibiscus citrus. Um, so you can have it hot or iced. It's called zest tea. And I guess it has 150 milligrams of caffeine in it, so that's really good. And um, it's more than black coffee usually has. So that's cool. It also has natural L-theanine in it. So no jitters, no crash, no fake stuff. I'm excited to try this. It smells like Hawaii. It smells really good. I need something like, I need some something to make me happy right now. This is gonna be it. So, not even a huge tea person, but sometimes I don't mind it. So, we'll let that seep for a minute and I'll let you know how it is. I'm really excited about this tea. It smells so good. Mmm, it smells so good and says, feel the rush without the crash. It has three times more caffeine than traditional tea and L-theanine, a rare amino acid found in tea which reduces the caffeine jitters and crash for a steady all-day all focus. Exactly what I need right now. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, I feel like this would be really good ice too. It is good hot, but I'm like, I'd much rather sip on this before fasted cardio. It's like way more hydrating than coffee. Thank you, Zesty, for giving me life right now when I don't have any. And also, I'm gonna send in my check-in right now to Meg, and I'll update you guys if we're making any changes today. 
another cool thing i don't know why i didn't do this before but on my apple watch okay sweet so on my apple watch i have the steps at the bottom now right on the home screen so i can like always check that super easily so that's just like a little super helpful thing if you can get your steps on your home screen of your watch love that so we are not making any changes for the next couple days these are the last couple days on this low food and with this extra cardio that I'm gonna need to push and then I should be depleted enough come Saturday. I'll be one week out and the peaking process will begin. So I'm really, really, really excited for the peaking process to get my stress levels down, start eating more, posing more, all those things. But we are in the last final two days. I've done this freaking 17 weeks now-ish. I can do two more days. Okay, cardio is done and I just showed my breakfast. Super yummy, I have some carbs in my breakfast today cause I am lifting now. Gonna go hit a push day. Energy's feeling good after that tea and after that cardio, actually feel decent. So I'm gonna go do my push day, try to get that done quickly and then um, finish off with 25 minutes of incline treadmill as the rest of my cardio. And I'll have a little rice cake in between that. And then, yeah, then I'll come home and get on with the rest of my day. I think, honestly, I can just feel the light at the end of the tunnel. Like, tomorrow's my last low day on these protocols. So, just knowing that makes me feel, like, so much more energized going into the day. Anyway, I put a little electrolyte mix in here. And really just trying to get in this water because two gallons is a lot. Going from one gallon to two gallons is a lot. I am peeing all the time, so. Nightmares creep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire I just got back from that push day. I had a rice cake in the car on the way home. And here is the post-workout meal that I just made. It is steaming. I have some butter lettuce, asparagus, um, bean ground turkey, a little bit of sweet potato, and I'm gonna put hot sauce, mustard, and Himalayan pink salt on top. Looks pretty good. Just got a little afternoon pick-me-up. Got a black cold brew from Starbucks, put a little bit of cinnamon, one packet of stevia in there. I am allowed one packet of stevia a day, so that's where this is going. And then I'm just gonna add a little almond milk and weigh it out on my own. All right, I wanna show you guys how I've been making my grilled chicken. It comes out super good. I prefer to chop it up like in little cubes, um, the chicken breast, and then I just spray a little of the olive oil spray on it and cover it with paprika, Italian seasoning, garlic salt. And then I just stir it up and it really like coats the chicken really well and then I just throw that in a pan. Okay, so this is the final product. It's so good. Zucchini is such a good vegetable. Let me shut this up. Zucchini is such a good vegetable because it's such high volume. It, it's very easy on digestion. And I put some garlic in there. It smells super good. Spinach, grape tomatoes, and chicken. I'm gonna throw that on this lettuce. 
And then every night I'm ending with this calm drink. It's supposed to help with stress and different things, but magnesium helps with so many different things in your body, your sleep, your digestion, your bowel movements, everything like that. Um, this is the raspberry lemon flavor. It's like no calories. So I just put this in my water at the end of the day, try to sip on that before bed. So I'm finishing off my macros. I made a little protein pudding using the two good Greek yogurt and I mixed in a little protein powder and topped with a few pieces of dark chocolate.